Hello, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to use Mathematica to do unit conversions in science, particularly in chemistry. Uh, so what I've done here is I've opened up a Mathematica file called Unit Conversion Tutorial. And what I like to do is I like to go up under Window, come down and say Show Toolbar, and I get this toolbar over here that will help me make sure I'm in the right spot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first problem. I want to convert 50 kilograms to milligrams. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click under the problem and I should get a line across the Mathematica screen. It may be a little hard to see here. And now I'm going to go ahead and type in 50.0. And now I want to put my unit in here and I'm going to put kg. And now I need to convert this to, the first thing I'm going to do is convert this to grams. I need to know that 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. And the way you're going to do dimensional analysis or unit conversion, what I like to do is I like to type a uh, open and close set of parentheses. I'm going to click inside that parentheses. And what I want is a sort of a fraction looking form. So I'm going to hold down the control key and hit the backslash key. That's the key that's uh, the slash that's right underneath the question mark. I'll go ahead and do that. And what you should notice here is it puts a form in there for me. And now I need to type my conversion in there. So I'm going to type 1000 G for grams. And in the denom denominator, I'm going to put one kilogram. Uh, be careful, by the way, if you want, and what should happen is that units of kilogram in the denominator should cancel the kilograms on top. Be careful if you would, if were to type kilogram, technically that's right, but the units aren't going to cancel because they don't match here, so they have to match. So you have to be very careful about case here. Now, I'm not quite done yet because my units are now in grams. I need them in milligrams, so I'm going to type another open close parentheses. I'm going to click in the middle and I'm going to do a control backslash. And what I like to do is I like to copy this. So I'm going to copy that. And then if I need more to do my unit conversions, I can just do a whole bunch of paste commands and save myself some typing time. It turns out I don't need them here. So what do I need to know now? I need to know that 1,000 milligrams is one gram. And notice I'm being very careful about being consistent with my units that I'm using a little g for grams and a little g for grams up there. If I were to use a capital G, uh, they would the units wouldn't cancel out. So I want to be a little careful with that. Okay, I'm all done here. I'm ready to evaluate uh, or get my answer. I hold down the shift key and I hit the return key or the enter key. So shift enter and I get my answer of 5.0 times 10 to the seventh milligrams. Notice that the units all canceled out and that's what I want Mathematica to help me do. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. You have 25.5 grams of a substance dissolved in 84.0 milliliter. What's the density? Okay, so I'm going to click under the problem. Notice it goes into units here. And what I like to do is you can set this up by uh, setting a variable name. So I'm going to type 25.5 grams. That's my mass. And I'm going to hit a return and I'm going to type my volume, which is what the uh, milliliters is, and that's equal to 84.0 milliliters. And again, I'm being careful about my, uh, my units. And now I need, to, I need to know that density is equal to, and I'm going to hold a control backslash here, and I should know that density is defined as mass divided by volume. And notice I put all of those in one command. So if I shift enter, uh, there I get, it tells me, reminds me what my mass is, 25.5 grams. It tells me what my volume is, 84 milliliters, and it calculates my density for me in units of grams per milliliters. Now, okay, I don't really need to have it repeat back to me what the mass is, so I can hide that output by typing a, a semicolon at the end. Same thing with volume. I don't need to see that. So when I shift enter or shift return, all I get is my answer in units of, of density, which is what I want to see here. Okay? Pretty straightforward. All right. I want to convert uh, my next problem, convert 10 miles to centimeters. Again, click under the problem, make sure I get a line. Uh, I'm going to type, okay, 10 mile. And I'm, notice I'm not going to put an S after that, okay? So I'm probably going to have a whole bunch of conversions here, so I'm going to do a bunch of paste here. I don't know how many I'm going to need. 
Uh, and now I need to know a conversion, so I need to know that one mile, excuse me, not a mole, one mile is, let's say, 5280 feet. And I need to know that one foot is 12 inches. Notice I'm being careful about my units here. I need to know that one inch is 2.54 centimeters. And being that my, my answer is now going to be in centimeters after all my units cancel out, I can get rid of some of these extra parentheses. I'm going to do a shift enter, shift return, and I get my answer uh, 10 miles is converted to centimeters. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Next one here, I want to convert 25 cubic feet to cubic millimeters. So I'm going to start out with 25 feet. Now, I want to put cubic feet, so I want to get that superscript 3 there. So I'm going to hold the control key down and hit the up the caret, which is the key right up on the, on the number 6. And when I do that, it puts a superscript up there. So I'm going to put a 3 in there. Okay. And now I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to paste in a bunch of my uh, unit conversion forms. I don't know, not quite sure how many I need. Okay. So what I'm going to say here now is one cubic foot, and now I need to do a control caret with a three. And that's going to be 12 raised to the third. Excuse me, got too many. There we go. 12 to the third, excuse me, if I could type, I'd be okay. Cubic inches, all raised to the third. Okay. And now I need to know that one inch to the third is 2.54 raised to the three cubic, cubic centimeters to the third. I got too many of those. There we go. And now I need to know that 100 raised to the third cubic centimeters is the same as 1. I could raise that to the 3, but since it's a 1, done much matter. Meters raised to the third. And now I need to know that 1 meter raised to the third is 1,000 raised to the third millimeters cubed. And now if you take a look at this, all my units should cancel out. If I evaluate that, shift, enter, shift, return, I should get my answer 7.07 .07 times 10 to the eighth cubic meters. Okay? So that's how that problem works out. My last one, I want to convert 50 miles per hour to inches per second. So again, I'm going to click under. I'm going to put in there 50 mile. Oh, excuse me. How about if I put a, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. So I'm going to put 50 mile on top, and I'm going to put hour on the bottom. And now I'm going to paste in a bunch of my, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. So now I just work my way through it. Okay, one mile is 5280 feet. Okay, one foot is 12 inches, so now my units are in inches, and that's taking care of the mile part. Now I need to put that one hour is 60 minutes, and I need to put that one minute is 60 seconds, and everything should cancel. I check my units to make sure everything's going to cancel. I do a shift enter, and I get my answer is 880 inches per second. So that's a quick tutorial on how you use Mathematica to do some unit conversion problems. Hope this helps.